So we just had some major news come out regarding the Packers. It came out from Tom Pelissero on Twitter. He says this, Veteran kicker Brandon McManus is signing with the Packers. Sources tell me and Mike Garofalo. The team is releasing Braden Narvison, who has missed 5 of 17 field goal attempts. Green Bay's kicker carousel spins again, and they hope it stops with McManus. So the past two years, the Packers have had constant issues at kicker. Last year, after drafting Anders Carlson, he had a very up-and-down year. They bring in Greg Joseph to compete with Anders Carlson. Both guys get cut. They sign Braden Narvison. They hope that maybe he can be the answer. And so far, through six weeks, he has been one of the worst kickers in the NFL. Currently, looking at field goal percentage, he is 35th in the NFL at 70.6%. And so it is not shocking to see the Packers make a move like this. I don't think it's a bad idea to move on from Marvison. And then I think usually at this point in the season, there aren't a lot of veteran kickers out there. But right now, this is a different situation. Uh, and Brandon McManus, who is a veteran kicker here in the NFL, is or was available before the Packers signed him. And the reason was back in uh, earlier in 2024, he ended up signing with the Washington Commanders. Then he was released because there had been sexual assault allegations dating back from 2023 that had come up. And recently, the NFL, they did basically an investigation. And it says here, this is from NBCSports.com, Pro Football Talk. The NFL investigated the claim and announced last month that there was, quote, insufficient evidence to support a finding that a violation of the personal conduct policy, end of quote. So that is why... McManus is now available. The Packers worked him out earlier today, and they've decided to sign McManus. And when we look at McManus in his career, basically how effective he has been as a field goal kicker, he's been pretty good for the most part overall. If you look at his field goal percentage last year, it wasn't great, 81.1%, which is actually worse than Anders Carlson last year, who had a 81.8% field goal percentage. Um, He was tied for 25th last season. But when you look a little bit deeper into the numbers... He, he was 15th in the NFL on 40 to 49 yard field goals, making them at 84.6% of the time. But he was worse from 50 plus yards, where he was 50% from 50 plus, um, where, which ranked 26th in the NFL. And so while he had a slightly worse field goal percentage last year than Anders Carlson, it was mainly because he wasn't making 50 plus yarders. And while you would like your kicker to be able to hit those at a high rate, I'm okay if we find a guy who is better at the easy field goals, the 30-yarders, the 40-yarders. And it seems that in his career, he's been you know, a, a somewhat solid, I'd say average to above, slightly above average kicker when it comes to 30-yard field goals, 40-yard field goals. And that is something the Packers have had issues with the past two years with Anders Carlson. It's not like he was only missing 50-plus yarders. He was missing a ton of 40-plus uh, yarders. I think he was somewhere around 50% last year from 40 to 49 yards. And so if you look at McManus and his career from 40 to 49 yards, he's made them at 85.7%. And honestly, in his first three or four years, he was in the 60% range from 40 to 49 yards. But in the past, basically four to five years, he's been nearly lights out. From 2020 to 2022, he didn't miss a 40-yard field goal, 40 to 49 yards. Last year, he was 11 for 13 from 40 to 49. He was perfect from 30 to 39 And so overall, this is a a great move by the Packers. And I think that if you ask probably any Packers fan, what is the weakness on this team? It would easily be kicker. And so I'm excited to see this move happen. I think that McManus is is definitely a much more experienced. He is a a much more productive field goal kicker than Narvison. And I also did some research to see how he has played in the postseason. And he only played in the postseason back in 2015. But in those postseason games, he was 10 for 10. So He was perfect in the postseason, which is good that he has that kind of experience. And so this was a move the Packers needed to make, a move where you need to try to fix that hole at kicker because when you have a guy who's out there missing 30-yard field goals, missing 40-yard field goals, that's that's a bad place to be in when you have such a talented team because it would be a shame to get to the playoffs, be within a field goal, and then miss one. Sort of like what happened last year with the 49ers game in the playoffs where if Anders Carlson had made that field goal later in the game, the Packers could have potentially won that game, and so I think that it was a wise move to bring in another kicker and McManus, who has a lot of experience here in the NFL. But if you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below. You can follow me on Twitter at LukeBeller3, and I'll see you guys next time.